Welcome back to the Delaware Way. We want to talk about a plea, especially from farmers, in hopes that you can help stop a very cute little bug who can be very toxic and very damaging, which brings us to Leanne Marie Cologne, who is an environmental scientist. Thanks for being here. Thanks for having me. So tell me about this little spotted lanternfly that looks so harmless and even like a butterfly. <laughs> right. Um, it's a really interesting looking pest. Um, it was introduced to the United States around 2014 um, in the Pennsylvania area around Berks County um, over from Asia in cargo and um, since 2014 it's kind of made its way to 13 other counties in Pennsylvania um, including the ones that are right near the Delaware um, Pennsylvania border. So this is very important because we all remember when the stink bugs came <laughs> through Berks County, That's PA, right. <laughs> yep. and we hate those darn spink, uh, stink bugs. They're everywhere. And they're here to, to stay. To stay. <laughs> yeah. So if everybody gets involved, they can actually stop this bug from invading Delaware and damaging crops. Well, right now we're trying to do a lot of survey work to see um, whether or not this pest has made it to Delaware, established itself in the environment. Um, it does need things like the Tree of Heaven to complete its life cycle. We do have a lot of Tree of Heaven um, in Delaware along like roadsides and disturbed sites. Um, so we are asking the public to keep an eye on it. Um, this is kind of a visual uh, close-up of what the insect looks like when it's kind of spread out. It's got these really cool looking spots on it, these red blotches. It's really quite distinct and pretty. It's like the Cruella de Vil bug. <laughs> Just think of it as Cruella. That's exactly right. <laughs> <laughs> so what does it do? Uh, to our crops. So um, the adults feed mainly on like different stone crops, so like apples and pears, peaches, um, grapes, things like that, all of which we do grow in Delaware um, and also can affect some timber. Um, the nymph phases, though, the smaller kind of like um, immature stages of this adult, or um, yeah, of this adult. Um, they're actually really opportunistic, so they'll feed on basically anything. So any type of garden plants, perennials, annuals, um, the smaller stages can feed on pretty much anything. And the spotted lanternfly can cause a lot of damage. Yeah, so um, in terms of crop losses, it could range to the billions of dollars. It's also a nuisance pest for homeowners, um, just because when it's feeding um, off of the plant material, it'll create like a honeydew. And that honeydew can like rain down on cars and like decks and, and different types of um, outdoor, you know, materials and, and can cause damage that way as well. Yeah, I was concerned when I read about it because I picture my, my rescue dog who's a yellow lab buddy, and whenever he sees like a, a fly yeah. or something, he snaps at it, right. but this could be toxic for your dog. That's right. There's something um, in the insect's um, makeup that's similar to blister beetles, um, so the, the same type of chemical um, that studies have shown is, is kind of harmful in larger quantities to, to animals, so just dogs and horses and things like that. So another reason to watch out. So let's say somebody thinks they see this in their yard or even they're out and about, they see it, what do they do? So um, we're asking everybody to kind of um, help us out in the scouting of this insect just because it is so distinct. Um, if somebody does think they do have spotted lantern flyer, there's a couple ways they can like get in contact with us to report a find. So um, we recently started up the hashtag hitchhiker bug campaign on social media. <laughs> Everyone's got their nice phones. Um, you can take a picture with the geolocator turned on and then when you upload it to social media, um, we can see exactly like where that picture was taken and then follow up because we do kind of um, take you know tips and leads from the public so social media is one way um, if you're not on social media you could still take the picture with the geolocator on and send it to our email hitchhikerbug at state.de.us same deal um, if people are more adventurous and want to actually capture the insect you can put it into um, a vial or a ziploc bag drop it off at the department of agriculture for identification that way um, and then you can also fill out a form on our website, which is the same type of thing. You can upload a picture, you can pinpoint a GPS location. And with all of these different things, we're asking people to kind of like also leave their contact information just because we would like to call you up and see, you know, like where you found it and um, other like relevant information for us to kind of jump on it and see where it's at. You know, with something like this, there are serious ramifications for our farmers, agriculture being, you know, number one in the state. So. 
it's really a, it's it might be fun for families and even their kids but there's a serious meaning behind this people can really help right um you know because it's so distinct you don't necessarily have to be a trained entomologist to kind of pick up on it. Um, there are a couple insects that could look a little similar, but either way, we, we are really trying to follow up on, on every single call, every single email that comes up, just because we really are trying to mitigate the introduction of this pest into Delaware. Do you think you can do it? I mean, it seems like a formidable <laughs> task because we think of other bugs right. that have come in. Yeah, um, well, all we can do is really try our best. <laughs> um, <laughs> you know, nature does find its way to, you know, do what it's going to do. But as long as um, we have our response plan, as long as we're kind of reaching out to the public, and, and really education and outreach is the big component to trying to, to tamp down on, on this issue. So, Leanne Marie Cologne, thank you so much. Thanks for having me. And the Delaware Way continues.